Now, India's farmers plan to march towards the national capital, resuming the Delhi Chalo march after spending days at the Punjab Haryana border following clashes that injured several farmers and policemen. The announcement was made by a key farm union leader spearheading the protest. And as farmers pushed for a legal guarantee on minimum support price on 23 crops. <laughs> Since the government wants us to protest peacefully without our tractors, we have decided to call upon farmers from all the states across the country to come to the border using public transport like trains, buses, flights or even walk on March 6. We will see if they still let us stage our demonstration or was the government merely talking. Apart from that, we want everyone to know that on March 10th, we will occupy the Indian railway tracks from noon to 4 p.m. and stop all trains from moving. As per the plan of action announced, farmers will also be blocking several railway tracks in protest on March 10th. This is in addition to the Samyukt Kisan Morsha and Umbrella Body, previously announcing a Mahapanchayat or mega meeting of over 100,000 farmers in New Delhi's Ram Leela Maidan on March 14th. Since the demonstrations began on February 13, farm union and government leaders have held four rounds of talks so far, but they have all remained inconclusive. The government had invited union leaders for a fifth round of talks, but farmers are yet to take a call on attending the meeting, following the death of a 21-year-old farmer in police clashes at the Khanori border, which complicated the matter.